right up, ladies and gentlemen. Come up, only two tickets to play this super fun game. Catch a ball, that's right, only two tickets. Step on up. Bottle toss game, two tickets only. Come on by, folks. Play some games. What? What are you doing here? Like, how many times do I have to fire you? Fire me? Oh, I, I just figured you were having a bad day. I knew you didn't really mean to fire me. Actually, I really did mean to fire you. Well, th then you must not fully understand my expertise as a carnival game expert. Oh, not this expert thing again. I've heard this expert thing so many times from you. Well, I'm such an expert that I could beat you at any of these carnival games. Oh, I highly doubt that. This is my super cool carnival and I know my games pretty well. Well, how about we have a little bit of fun with this? Yeah. How about we play yeah. seven total games and if I win the most games, I get to stay and run the show. Okay, but what happens yeah. if, or I should say when I win? <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. But if it did, tell you what, I'll gladly leave this place behind. Hmm, I like it. Tell you what, we'll pick the seven most popular games of the carnival and our competition can begin. We'll start with catch a ball, move on to a carnival favorite, ring toss. Next up, we'll do the can knockdown game. Oh, that's one of my favorites. We'll have a body bopper competition. You don't stand a chance at that one. Huh, then we'll move on to the ever popular chuck a duck game, followed by potato sack races and We'll end it all with tug of war. Can't wait for my victory. All right then, I'll let the competition begin. Game one. You're red, I'm blue, we each get five tosses, whoever rings the most bottles wins the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Yeah, well I can do it too, move over. And there. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah. All right, it's coming down to the last ring. Sure is, good luck. No luck needed. <laughs> Hot dog. All right, no pressure, I've got this. That's one win for the hot dog. Next up, catch a ball. And for this game, we each get three balls and three chances to make a ball in each container. Whoever gets the most in wins. And I happen to be fabulous at this game. We'll see about that. Just all about the graceful underhand throw, like so. <sighs> and again. Really? One more time. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is done. Yeah, yeah, step aside. I'll show you how it's done the Can't right way. what I did. <laughs> I prefer to throw it overhand with style. Oh. Oh. Yes, you missed. The ball hit you, which is really funny, and I win because you can't get three in a row. <laughs> win a win a chicken dinner. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to salvage some of my dignity here. I have two more, okay? Just stand back, stand back. Oh. Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay, hang on. One left. Let me just, this one's going in. Oh. Ah! Oh. So not cool. I'm done with this game. You could have the win. <laughs> I have to say, witnessing that was even better than getting the win. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the can knockdown game. In this game, we each get one beanbag toss. Whoever knocks down the most cans wins. <laughs> I got this one in the bag. Oh, looky there, you left one standing, which means I'm gonna win this one easy peasy. <laughs> That's what she thinks. I'm gonna get this all slippery, and it's gonna go flying right out of her hands. I can't afford to lose another one after all. Okay, hey, where did that beanbag go after all? Oh, here's one, we can oh, design. Perfect, thank you. Sure. All right. Good luck. One. Thank you. All right, it's all about the wind up. Ah! 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 <laughs> that counts as your one toss, and you didn't knock a single thing down. <laughs> well, now hold on just a minute. That was the wind-up, it wasn't actually the toss, so I get a redo. That was clearly some type of beanbag malfunction. No, 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 no. My victory. 
Let's move on to the next game now. Oh, well, fine, but I'm gonna get the next one. I know it. Game number four, body boppers. So when I say go, we put our body boppers on, bop into each other, the last man standing is the winner. Do you notice the size differential here? I think I got this one in the bag. <laughs> yeah, says a giant hot dog. We'll see who wins this one. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't ready. <laughs> that was great. Another victory for me. And don't tell me you weren't ready because I clearly said, on your mark, get set, go. Yeah, but I didn't have time to get my body bopper on. Well, it's not my fault you're wearing a ridiculous giant hot dog suit. You're to blame for that one. So that means two wins for me, two wins for you. It's a tied game. Well, not for long. Game number five, Chuck a duck For this game, we each get three beanbag tosses, and whoever gets the most points wins. <laughs> you do realize that prior to being a full-time hot dog, I used to be a professional baseball player back in the day, right? Really? So an expert carnival person and an expert baseball player? Yeah, this is a piece of cake. I think I got this one in the bag. All right, well, I'll show you how it's done first, how about? So if you think <laughs> move out of my way, uh -huh. Good watch luck. me work my magic. Okay. Yep, that's a 50 on my first try. That's yeah, beginner's luck. Oh yeah? Watch me do it again. 20? That's more what I would expect from you. Still 70 points, and I still have one throw to go. Yes, that is 100 points for me. I'd love to see you be that. Yeah, let me just warm up my pitching arm. Okay, you warm that thing up and we'll see how you do. I'm so confident in my abilities that I'm gonna throw it from way over here at the snack shack and throw it way over there. Here goes nothing. 50 points from the snack shack. Ugh, what a show off. Now watch me sink one in from the fortune teller booth. This will be quite the impressive angle to pull off and left handed. Yes, and the 50 again. <sighs> Wonderful. Now where should I go for my third shot? Oh, come on, just throw it. Let's get to the next game. Behind my back, eyes closed at the entrance to the carnival. Seriously? Seriously, 150 points for me. That means three wins for me, only two for you. On to the next game. Game number six, potato sack races. For this game, we race from the snack shack all the way to the ball pit at the other end of the carnival. And the first one to dive in wins. Okay now. <laughs> you know what, you're in trouble on this one, lady. Oh really, and why is that? Yeah, it just so happens that between my stint as a full-time hot dog and a professional baseball player, mm -hmm. I was once the Arizona State champion of sack racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I'm so, really uh, threatened by that. Uh, you should be, good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's stop this and get going. On your mark, get set, go! I've got it! Ooh. Ooh. Victory! I won that one! My victory! Three wins for me, three wins for you! Woohoo! I can't believe I lost to an amateur sack racer. Ugh. So, you know what this means? Down to game number seven. Bring it on, lady. <laughs> Final game is tug of war. We all know tug of war, super simple. You pull, I pull. If the arrow crosses your side, I win. If the arrow crosses my side, you win. Seriously? You're talking to an all beef grade A hot dog here, lady. I think you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, whatever. I am not concerned in the least. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> This one's mine. You're going down, hot dog boy. There's no way I'm losing this one. Oh man, she's stronger than I thought. This calls for ketchup. Hey, that's not fair, that's slippery. Ah! No! Victory is mine! Ah! 
So you clearly cheated. You cheated. put a ketchup and I tripped on it. That Are is you not kidding me? fair. There was nothing said about not being able to use any sort of ketchup or other condiments what? in this game. I didn't think I'd have to stay no ketchup a lab and tug of war. Uh, you're talking to a hot dog lady. <laughs> there should be no doubt that I'm going to be using condiments. <laughs> you are such a meathead. Well, that's awfully offensive. Anyways, now that I'm the winner of this contest, we could sit down and talk some business about how to kind of spruce things up around here and turn this carnival thing around. Oh, I can't believe the hot dog is here to stay. This is so not cool. Ah! All right, Maya, was that fun to watch this film? Yeah. Yeah? What is it like having a hot dog for a daddy? Uh, Pretty silly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you should wear that costume to get from school? I should. No. <laughs> well, thanks for watching another super cool carnival video, right, Maya? Yeah. Be sure to subscribe to Tic Tac Toy. And Tic Tac Toy Family. And follow us on Instagram, please. Yes, at Tic Tac Toy Family. Bye, everyone. Thanks for Bye. watching. <laughs>